Hey guys, so it is around 7 o'clock at night and I'm just packing my kids backpacks for school tomorrow and I thought I would actually film it. Um, however, now it's kind of like a mock packing because I can't really put their lunches in their bags tonight. Um, however, these are the bags that my girls will be using this year. Um, that's for my uh, seven-year-old so that's for Lucky and this one is for my kindergartner um, Riri so I have a review on this bag from Children's Place up on my channel already this one um, I did not do a review but they're very similar except for this bag is a little bit bigger than the other bag and also the material it's more like shinier um, and this bag has a chest strap so yeah <sighs> so that's the difference in the bags so I'm just gonna go and put things in in the bag that I know I need to put in here so that I don't forget um, so first thing I'm gonna put her change of clothes so um, the way I pack their change of clothes is I put their underwear and their socks in a small ziplock and then I put that and a change of clothes like a t-shirt and a pants in the big ziplock that way they're not all touching each other and, and um, it's easier to store and it's easy for me to um, so then that's the change of clothes. Then we have her indoor shoes and for just, you know, just for reference purposes, I'm gonna put her lunch bag inside. So it still has room, a lot of room actually. And let's stick her lunch, her water bottle inside on the side. and. In the front pocket, what I do is I use these skip hop bags. Oops, side down. So these bags, pouches, are by skip hop. You get two in a pack. Um, and I had gotten the the um, ladybug design. So the little one is for my kindergartner. The big one is for my for Lucky. So what I keep in here are wet ones, hand sanitizer, I need to put a pack of tissue in here, and the most important thing in here is the spoon and fork. So what I noticed in the past three years of um, sending my kids to school um, is that I tend to forget to pack utensils um, or like cutlery in their lunch in her lunch uh, lunch bag so this year I'm gonna be smart <laughs> and pack an extra spoon and a fork in their emergency pouch they both know it's in there so when they sit down to eat and they don't have a spoon um, or a fork in their lunch bag then they know to come in here and get one um, well they can do that, but if their teacher has one and they notice it before the kid goes to the bag, then I guess the teacher will give them one. But anyways, that's besides the point. So this bag is packed. I just have to make sure I put the lunches in there and some fresh water. So this is my second graders. So same thing with her. I need or she needs an extra, extra pair of clothes. in there and she needs her indoor shoes as well which I have in this bag there's um, my so Lucky's clothes will remain in the bag they don't leave them at the school uh, they don't have I don't believe they have space in their classrooms 
um, but this bag has a pouch like separated that you know she can keep it in there and it's like softer on her back too um, her running shoes will stay at school I'm pretty sure they have like a coat hanging thing outside of their classroom that they can leave their shoes there um, but for my kindergartner she will be leaving her like they have cubbies um, on top of where they hang their school bag. So she's going to leave her clothes in the cubby and her shoes will remain there too. So the only thing that she's going to be taking back and forth would be her lunch and her water bottle and the occasional paperwork. Um, so let's go back with this. Oh, and she's taking her pencil case and her lunch bag. So she's using the Gap lunch bag this year. Just a lot more roomier, I, I find. All right. Just trying to zip this up with one hand. And this bag is actually cute because it's black and silver. It's very sparkly. And the bag comes with like an emoji, like tag thingy. And let's put her water bottle. There we go. And so you've seen her emergency pouch. So what she has are the same thing as her sister's tissue paper, um, band-aids, hand sanitizers. She's got two because I believe one of them is a leftover from last year. And there is a fork and a spoon as well. So that's for her. And her pouch, her Emergency pouch is actually bigger or kind of like the same size as her front pouch. So I told her we'll just slide it in and whenever she needs to use it, she can just keep the, the pouch inside. So she can just open like the zipper from inside here and get what she needs and zip it up because that way she's not constantly taking things in and out of this pouch so yeah there is their backpacks and i'm just gonna get both of the girls to come and show us how the backpacks look on them so let's have both my girls come here hi riri thank you can you say hi <laughs> okay, go walk a little bit there. So here, keep going. A little bit more. Thank you. So here is the backpack from the back. Um, it is a little bit big. Re, can you turn sideways? Can you look at the table? Thank you. So you can see that the bag is kind of hitting on her bum basically. You normally want that just to hit right there. But if I get a bag that that small, it, it's kind of like you can't put much stuff in it. So I figure this is good enough for her now. And kids, they grow so fast. So this will be fine for her. I should be able to use this bag for both um, JK and SK. So thank you, Re. You can put the bag away. And now we have Lucky. So there is her bag from the back and sideways. So for her, it, they, the bags hit approximately the same spot for both of them. Um, so it is a little bit big, but it's totally usable. And is it comfortable? So it's comfortable too. And in case her bag got heavy, she can always use the, the chest strap to make sure that she's got the space. Uh, she's got that added help of the strap. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions about anything I just mentioned today, let me know in the comment section. Bye. Bye.